and one of his employees caught the two 20-year-olds stealing and threw them out of the store. Things got physical, one of the suspects kicking and punching the owner. The Queens District Attorney says that is when the owner pulled his gun from his waistband and tried to pistol whip the suspect and accidentally fired the gun, hitting the suspect in the stomach. Over and over, the same crew came in here four times to rob the store and get away with it. This time, they did not. Valerio. Look, I just want to say that when I look at this, I'm 54 years old, and you can tell these men are over 50 years old. Your body's changed drastically. A simple uh, uh, situation like this could have escalated any one of the men's uh, blood pressure. That You can see they're all elderly men inside there, or older men. And uh, the situation was very volatile, very dangerous for people over 50. These young guys, when you're that young and you're that crazy, uh, it, this let me tell you, I completely defend these this man, this man, this store owner, in defending himself. And even if it was an accidental shot, it should have been intentional. Why? Because who's to know if they've done this multiple times that at some point in time they're going to come in there and actually pull a weapon it was better that he did it first to stand his ground to let them know look you're not going to do that in my store and what, what really puzzles me is that you'll see who the who the uh, attorney is this has been a trend here uh you know in america that i'm not going to say that you know i don't know if it's purposely being done but there's a, a some kind of weird trend going on here in america where they're defending the criminals defending I'm not saying that immigrants are all criminals, but also defending immigrants. They're not defending Americans. They're not defending hardworking Americans. And look who, and you, you know, just look who's the culprit. You know, just watch for yourself. Who was a father of two has a legal concealed carry permit for his nine millimeter semi automatic pistol. DA Melinda Katz has charged the two alleged shoplifters with petty larceny, but the store owner is charged with assault. Quote, the store owner was physically attacked by one of the men. Unfortunately, as alleged, that led to a reckless shooting by the store owner on a public street in broad daylight. All three of the defendants in this incident will have to answer charges against them. Guys, so you can see my mouth moving if you're watching this video right now. I just wanted to show proof of what I keep going through. I have an extremely, really, really well set up system and a very good uh, connection. But whenever I speak on this specific topic, uh, somehow a lot of my audio gets muted out. I've had a lot of things done to me in the last 20 years after 9-11 since the things I've been through. But every time I go to speak on these topics, this is what happens to me, guys. You know, and it's strategically done. It's done exactly where I said the most important things about the Jewish people having their own uh, ambulances, their own hospitals. Uh, if this was in a Jewish community and you had a Jewish lawyer, do you think that the person, the Jewish man that owned the, uh, let's say if he owned the store, would have any allegations or charges against him? No, it never turns out that way. But if you're a non-Jew, believe me, this is what happens in America right now. And like I said, which they tried to cut out, is that whatever's happening happening over in Palestine right now with the genocide with those children, we're having a genocide here with Americans as well because our rights are being taken from us consistently on a daily basis. The same people that are perpetrating that over there in Palestine are the same people who are in control in institutionalized ways, meaning people are set in different positions that have the power to censor to do what they did to me in this video and other videos if you look at my videos you'll see how many times i talk about this look i'm not doing this obviously i'm not getting paid i'm not getting any views but i'm going to keep talking about this why because we live in a country that was founded well i know we had some some problems in the beginning but the the gist of what we want now the really essence of what we want america to be now really comes in the first and second uh, amendments where we talk about freedom of speech and the ability to bear arms and protect ourselves these two things are extremely vital for any anyone to survive in any situation and we have to have those rights but those rights are so fundamental and if they're being taken from us at the rate that which they're taking it from us and all these things are being done to us by our own government and you know the people who are allowing it to happen 
can defend this, but for some reason they're not defending us. And like I said, if a certain group of people are, you know, doing certain things all the time, just like how they use stereotypical behavior of black men, you can use stereotypical behavior of Jewish people that are in certain positions of power. It's been spoken about by so many people already. There's been proof of it, you know. Uh, we have to be able to say these things Otherwise, we are not living in a free country. And I'm going to keep reiterating that in every video that, that, that has this topic. You know, I think it's extremely a valid point and we need to talk about it, guys. But as, like I said before, you know, look at how the sound is out specifically in the part that I mentioned this. But let's see what they do when I upload this one. If it goes out again, I'm going to make another video and upload it again. I hope you guys really enjoy this stuff. And if I would love to hear your comments and feedback. The Bodega Association is demanding the DA drop the charges. If you got shot and you're a criminal, you are a criminal. You are not a victim. We cannot, as a community, allow for Francisco to get prosecuted. People in this community are also weighing in, supporting the store owner. The owner, I believe, has the right to protect you know, his business. He had a permit to carry it, and they were assaulting him, and it was an accident. He shouldn't be in trouble. It's self-defense, like somebody's violating his business. I think that that's okay for him to use that. I'll tell you what, I'm glad that so many people are standing up and actually um, saying the right thing, you know, and doing the right thing. Because we, like I said, if it was a Jewish community and it was a Jewish lawyer, a Jewish prosecutor, the Jewish people would not have to pay or suffer anything. It's a known fact. They protect their own community. And they separate themselves from everyone for a reason. They don't consider us, the rest of the society, a part of them. How do we live in such a strange community that we allow certain people to live that way and to basically dictate the laws to us in the way that they see it fit, yet everybody's complaining about Sharia law for Muslims and Muslims are going to do that. The people that are doing basically what they're afraid of are the Jewish people here in the community in America. Um, I have nothing against Jewish people. I think they're great people. My, some of my biggest heroes are Jewish. Um, Isur Danielovich, who people know as Kirk Douglas, the ragman's son, is a book that he wrote that I love that inspired me in many ways. Uh, you know, he brought up the McCarthy era, how he had to change his name, why he had to change his name. I mean, there were interesting things that happened along that time. Uh, look, Henry Winkler, one of my favorite actors. Uh, you have like all these people that are great people all throughout uh, history, but something happened. Something happened along the way where things changed. And uh, I don't know, it's almost like we're in a bizarro world, you know, where everything is reversed and upside down. Uh, all I can say, guys, is that if you have any inkling of what I'm saying, people need to speak up, you know, and people need to say something. You shouldn't be afraid to speak the truth, and people shouldn't have the power to suppress the truth. I think it's the biggest problem we have here in this country right now in America. Even though they say that we have freedom of speech from the First Amendment, and uh, we're supposed to have the right to bear arms, right, and to be able to defend ourselves by the Second Amendment, right? There's something wrong. There's something missing here. Because it seems like only certain people have rights and the rest of us don't. You know, and uh, I really feel that there is a big uh, problem, especially when it comes to uh, certain races here in this country. And uh, I'm almost really starting to understand the views of certain groups that I would never have thought that I would see in their points and their ways. But sometimes some people that you would never think. That's why I listen to all perspectives. Some people, if you listen to some of their arguments, start to make sense after a while, you know. Um, I don't agree with everything everybody says, but certain things, man, it does make sense, you know. Well, guys, I am the spiritual philanthropist. I am Rav Shiva. This is the Daily Sutra, and I'm always going to put stuff out there that matters, and I'm always going to talk about it. Sometimes I'll be, like, you know, serious, and sometimes it may be funny, but it depends on how I feel. But uh, watch out for some of the stuff that, that's coming up in the near future. I'm going to talk about a lot of cool stuff, too. I don't only do this stuff. I also talk about things that I like, like Bruce Lee and fighting and UFC and, and science and things like that. So be on the lookout. If you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be safe, guys. Stand up for yourselves. Don't be afraid to speak the truth.